What is decentralization? Hi friends. Welcome to Crypto Basics. Today we will discuss the difference between centralized, decentralized, and distributed networks. In the blockchain, decentralization refers to the transfer of control and decision-making from a centralized entity to a distributed network. You will be able to easily understand this with an example. The first example is for centralized. Let's say you want to host your website and you purchase the same from a normal shared hosting provider, such as GoDaddy, Hostinger, Big Rock, or Namecheap. Now in this case they have different servers across the globe. But you can choose only one location where your website will be hosted. If you choose to opt for their Singapore server, then all website data you upload shall be saved on their Singapore server. If that server is not working at an instance, then your website will also not load at that point in time. These companies have the authority over that server, and it is at a single location so this type is called a centralized network. The second example we will take for distributed. In this case, we want to host our website. But instead of normal hosting, we go with cloud hosting such as Google Cloud, Amazon Web Services, Alibaba Cloud. In this case, our content can be hosted at more than one location. That is a copy of our website is available on servers located in Singapore, India, Spain, Canada, and Australia. If any one of the servers is not working, our website can be loaded from other nodes at different locations. Here once again these companies have the authority over that server. But server nodes at various locations, so this is called distributed network. Now, we will take the third example which is for decentralized. In this case, we want to host our content on a network that is not controlled by any entity. Such as uTorrent, BitTorrent, IPFS, Filecoin and LimeWire. In these services, the content we upload is distributed across thousands of computers like ours. In services like IPFS and Filecoin, we also don't know what is being hosted on our computer as it is in encrypted form. Here, thousands of computers like ours are the nodes. They don't have any authority over any server. But still sharing the content for monetary benefits. Now, this is a decentralized network where no company or person has authority over any server or file. This no authority and no control by any central entity are the main benefits of a decentralized network. Let's see this benefit with an example now. If you are doing any online transaction with a bank, all the details are stored on bank servers at centralized or distributed networks. If they want, they can make any changes at any point in time. No one will be able to prove them wrong. But if you are doing the same transaction over Bitcoin or Ripple network, all the details are stored publicly on blockchain at a decentralized network. Nobody, not even the top authorities, can make any changes in these records ever. It is not possible at all. I hope the concept of decentralization is clear to you. In the next video, we'll be discussing everything about NFTs. If you have any questions, you can comment below, I'll be happy to answer. If you find this video beneficial, make sure to like and share this video. For more updates subscribe to our channel, Crypto Basics. And don't forget to press the bell icon. Thank you.